The Porsche Experience Centre in Atlanta is one of three in the country. I will link to Porsche's driving experience website in the description below, but you can choose from a number of different cars and types of activities. More about that in a moment. This is also the place where you can collect your own brand new Porsche if you specify to do so, rather than collecting it from your dealer. You'll get a lunch in their rather spiffy restaurant, 90 minutes on the track in one of their cars, and then a personalised delivery of your own car. Welcome everybody to the Porsche Centre here in Atlanta. We made it at last. It's been a lovely day so far. Tail of the Dragon, but here now at the Porsche Centre. So let me give you a little tour around the building and see what we can see. There's some wonderful stuff here already. But let's take you straight to the track for an exploration of what's here. I pause this film. This is a really good angle to show you all of the tracks and activities that you can do. I'm talking to you from here, looking up the full length of the circuit. But there are in fact six circuits in the overall facility. One longer handling circuit made of asphalt, which stretches around the perimeter of the entire track. An ultra tight handling circuit made of slippery polished concrete. An off-road circuit for you Cayenne drivers out there. Skid pans an acceleration, deceleration and slalom area, and a sneaky black ice simulator, which I shall tell you more about momentarily. Now, welcome to the circuit here at Porsche, the Porsche Centre here in Atlanta. Uh, we will be driving shortly. Apologies for the noise, it is right by the airport, that is Atlanta Airport just there. Can you join me? on the circuit in quite a lot of anticipation of driving a GT3. In fact, that GT3 just there, or is that a turbo? I think that's a turbo. There is a yellow GT3 here as well that James and I will be driving, as well as a Turbo S around this circuit. And these two are flying around here. It's a magnificent facility, I have to say. It's not cheap to drive these cars. I think we paid about $995 to get 90 minutes in a GT3 and a Turbo S. Um, but we've driven all the way. I mean, James from Minnesota, me from Connecticut, it's worth every penny if you're gonna come this way, this far. Um, and if I turn around, you can see uh, the Porsche Center. There's James himself. Um, I'll take you for a, a spin inside. If I haven't put that in already, then you can have a cup of coffee and uh, watch the people on the circuit. So if you don't want to drive, but you are, you would like to see what the people that are driving are doing, this is the place. And we've had a downpour here uh, for about the last hour. The track is absolutely soaking wet. But it is petrol head heaven. And if you are a Porsche fan like I am, and like James is, this is like a toy shop. And the skid pan at the far end there, which I'm particularly looking forward to. I've never quite been able to master that, despite what I tell everybody else. Um, I say master it, I haven't even got close to even the basics or the beginnings of it. <laughs> what I'm quite enjoying about this part of the circuit is those lines where somebody's clearly gone off onto the grass. Well, there we are. Stay with me, more action coming on this very channel. Now, let me just pause the video again here. This is the devious, evil black ice simulator that I mentioned earlier on. Why devious and evil, you may ask? Well, two reasons. One, that red track up there is made of polished concrete topped with epoxy and sprayed down with water. Secondly, between those yellow markers there is an oscillating metal plate which throws the car left or right, depending on which way it's going at the time you hit it. Well, let's send our friend on his way and see if he can hold the car in a straight line after he hits the plate.
that'll be a no then. I have to say, I tried this four times and held it only twice out of the four times. It is incredibly slippy and you have to react very quickly and very violently to keep the car going in a straight line. And our steeds for the journey, the yellow, yellow GT3, and over here, the white Turbo S. White, I love white, so cool. Now we're not gonna be able to have films in the car, cameras in the car, so luckily I've taken lots of footage and I will talk you through it as we go from upstairs. All right, enough talk, let's get on with it. extend my Porsche paint to sample video take a look at this you can actually do anything you like here at the Porsche Center in Atlanta all the colors all the fabrics all the interior colors all in one place and of course you can even even have it delivered here but look even the woods the finishes the embossing the colors of the air vents the stitching the gear sticks, the panelling, the carpet, the key rings and the keys, and even the labelling of the car itself. Look at this beautiful 911 Carrera 4S. This dark blue with the silverish uh, window surrounds. That's a beautiful colour which I think is gentian blue. And then we get down to a Cayenne Coupe down here. Around here, and then that direction, there's people watching the track out there. The track is over there. Not so sure about this particular one in orange, but I'm sure it's somebody's taste, just not mine. Is anyone like me a huge fan of gift shops? I find I can't even walk past them. It's not possible for me to walk past a gift shop. So I'm just not gonna bother resisting temptation. I'm gonna go in and most likely buy something. Even a wall of model Porsches to neatly explain the Porsche peak theory. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Porsche peaked here. And we go on into the future and we are almost at the present day and back to peak the peak car right there of course thanks for watching everybody <laughs> <laughs>